over again. I would invite you to turn with me in your Bibles to Genesis chapter 31. Because there certainly are not 31 chapters in Galatians. Genesis 31. And I'm going to be reading tonight from verses 22 uh, to 25. We have been tracking the life of Jacob, this patriarch who uh, had taken the, uh, the birthright that his brother had spurned Esau and had, uh, as a result, become hated by his brother who wanted to kill him. And as a result, he had fled to, for refuge far to the north. He had gone to the land of his uncle Laban. And he had been with him, and the Lord had greatly increased him. But the time came when it was, it was time for him to leave, and he decided that he was going to flee under cover. He was going to go when uh, Laban did not know, because uh, Laban clearly did not want him to leave and take uh, his <laughs> the, the many flocks that the Lord had blessed him with with him, and certainly his, uh, his uh, daughters and children and so on that... Um, uh, whom he had married. So he uh, is going to pursue Jacob, and we'll find out what happens when Laban overtakes Jacob. But in the meantime, uh, let's go before the Lord who gave us this word, and let's ask for his blessing. God, a gracious Father, we know that, Lord, in every word of your truth, Lord, in the scriptures, for they are all your truth, all of them inspired and infallible and a sure rule and guide for our faith and our life and our practice that we might be, as Elder King reminded us, fully equipped for every good work, Lord. And these, these scriptures that we're about to read tonight are no exception to that rule. So, Lord, we do pray that you would be with us.